Hello. I'm going to talk about total reliance on the Vardan Masters. You could say that now is a time to really get in touch with your inner guidance. <laughs> because you will need it. <laughs> In the January God Force, which is a publication for Varnkar Chilas, or who are members of Varnkar, and study the secret teachings, it goes into this more in depth. It delves into the topic of total reliance on the Murgatma, the living Varden Master, and ancient Varden Masters such as Yabo Sakabi, Rebazar Taurus, Fubi Quans, Alan G, and myself. And this is, in fact, total reliance on the Varden, the light and sound of Hure. An example of total reliance on the Masters. I had an experience of great emergency myself. It was a day of a hurricane. <laughs> And on that occasion, the master's presence became stronger. It was not the hurricane, but it was something else that was really the emergency. And the masters, I could feel their presence more strongly. I could feel before me their love and their concern and their divine intervention and care of Yabal Sakabi, Rebazar Taurus, and Fubi Quans. And they were beckoning me to pack. <laughs> and they kept encouraging me to pack. And then upon driving, they were with me every step of the way. But I had to more deeply focus with more intensity on having an inner dialogue with them and listen. For Chilas of Fardkar, <laughs> I won't get into all of the details deeply as you can read it in the next God Force article. Total reliance on the Varden Masters is about to realize that the masters are the best friends you've got. If you don't appreciate or utilize your gifts or your hidden gifts, it's a great mistake. Now I'd also like to recommend or suggest that Chilas go on the inner and get guidance as to how one must prepare for personal care, such as survival basics, during possible changes in the near future. That is, without becoming paranoid or negative. <laughs> Speaking of paranoid and negative, I hear a lot of dogs thing, um, such as, where did the masters want you to go? And what is the divine timing of that? This is as most of you who are Vardanists are aware is a Kali Yuga. Kali Yugas or Dark Ages are notorious for not always being sweet or kindly. 
And so one must have the, you could say, foresight to learn to dialogue with the masters and follow their instructions step by step. If you go on the inner and communicate, you try and don't hear anything, what is the saying? If you don't succeed, try, try again. But trust yourself as soul, as Varden, divine spirit, the light and sound. Your little self must get out of the way so that your true, divine, greater self, the Varden, light and sound, can flow through you. It is the Varden. It, it knows. Seeing, knowing, and being. It has omnipresence. The light and sound is the voice of God. Hooray. Getting in touch with your inner guidance is the most important way you can prepare for coming changes. Fancy, expensive equipment is not so valuable as true inner guidance from the Vardan and total reliance on the Vardan masters The, the changes, difficult changes, have hidden gifts, but spiritual tests must be passed. So changes, for example, if there are possible interruptions of one's basics, like water, electricity, and so forth. You Can you contemplate a way for addressing that? For addressing personal care? You can, if you wish, stop your busy day and just inwardly visualize meeting with the Margatma, the living Varden master Fubi Kwans, as well as Ribazar Taras, Yabal Sakabi, Alanji, and myself. You'll have to excuse my voice. <laughs> it's, I have a cold, so it's very hard to speak. start, place attention on their great divine beauty as Vardhan, spirit. You can, just as you do with a person who's a friend, hold an inner conversation and then listen. Really listen. Inner guidance may come to you but be patient. It may come in a form that you don't expect with your mind. It can be blatant, such as human words, or it can be a knowingness, a seeingness, a beingness. It could be subtle impressions, an inner picture or vision. Or it could be something that suddenly appears in your physical life to guide you, to take a step in a certain direction. Although one must be careful because the negative power also can give guidance in the wrong direction. So it's usually best to seek guidance from a high place, such as the pure, positive God worlds and the Murgatma. So regarding this total reliance on the 
Varden Masters, this is one of the greatest tools. You need not ex you need not expensive toys. You need the Varden. Hure, its voice, its love, its presence, its beingness. Hure, God. God is now not in some distant future. I wish to share with the Chilas that I apologize, although it was beyond my control. I usually post Varden car videos every Friday, <laughs> but a little gremlin a little gremlin attacked my equipment and the internet. <laughs> it took a wrench to a wrench, a big metal wrench to some of my accounts and it made it rather difficult to bring this forth. It also attacked the Varden mailing. How did I deal with four pieces of equipment breaking at the same exact time and the internet interruption and financial emergency and so forth. Well, I relied on spiritual patience and I relied on the Varden, Hure, and Margatma to show me its, its way. Divine timing. Hure's way, the master's way, is all, in all things, big and small. When difficulties arise, when emergencies arise in my life, like the crest of a wave, I ride the wave of the Varden, divine spirit. So, if you are a Chila, of the Murgatma, the living Varden master, you are under the master's protection, but you must do your part. And I might say that a part <laughs> of that part is learning total reliance on the master and to practice the secret inner communication to get inner instructions. Also, a part of that part is when the masters give you steps to take well in advance, such as to move or, or whatever, that you do so in divine timing. Some may be waiting a little too long. <laughs> I once welled up with fear and began to feel so frustrated, angry, grasping. And Ellen G said to me, Heather G, trust the Hugh Ray. Basically, trust the Varden. Then I immediately calmed down because I knew, I knew that everything was okay, that I was in the arms of the Varden, even though se things seemed not okay. <laughs> I knew he was right and I knew it was true. That as soul, pure spirit, we are protected by the master the Varden Masters, the Murgatma, by the Hure. Even in the most extreme cases where one loses their lower bodies, even then we are protected in the Master's care. So, <laughs> many of those of you listening now 
are chosen ones. You are loved, divinely loved. You are under the master's protection. But only if you give permission. And it is also vital, as the Varden has told me, to tell the Chilas or remind them to know that when you need, when you need it the most, remember to ask for help. Meaning, you can ask when you need to. Some Chilas and individuals are too proud and too self-important to do so. Remember most importantly to remember to listen. Really listen to the masters and the Varden. Now this is a little, a weird little side note. There are some in Varden car who are split, meaning they have one foot in Vardhankar and one foot in another path. Maybe they are not even a true student, sadly. Yet those doing so were strangely also chosen and must at some point make a decision if they wish to throw it away or to open a gift. <laughs> the high path. At some point they will have to decide because it's like the saying, he who does not choose, it will be chosen for him by the negative power. Vardenkar is not the only path, but it is the most direct path. To Hure. To seek to interfere or betray or harm the Varden spiritual traveler is to betray and harm oneself. You could say it is unwise to give love, goodwill, help and support to the Varden spiritual traveler or Varden masters is loving oneself and you could say wise or divinely guided. For those now <laughs> You could say that all of the various Varden masters like Plato, Pythagoras, Mila Ripa, Phaedius the Greek, and Rama, and today, Paul G. I mean, Kabir, Paul G. Alan G. Fubi. And I have for those ready a sort of, you could say, a training program that has been existing for a long, long time, the secret teachings. The fact is there are many paths and religions on this planet and this, it's an enormous advantage and makes this planet unique and superior in many ways. Uh, <laughs> in ways I won't really describe here, but, but those who have reached the top 1% of every religion and path are often drawn to Vardenkar those who are sincere may be eligible to become a student of the master of the secret teachings. And not everyone who, who seeks or applies is allowed to enter the path 
or is allowed to stay. Usually people have within two years to decide if it's something they wish to commit to or go back to whatever they were previously studying. You could say one must prove themselves worthy that they are true and sincere initiates of the Hure, of the Varden, and of the Murgatma, the living Varden master, spiritual traveler. Those of you who are Vardenists can read more in depth about this topic in the January God Force. Alan G. and Paul G. and I found it utterly vital that every step we take, big or small, is guided by the Varden masters. Sometimes we falter, but then we get back up, dust ourselves off, and try again. You do not need to be perfect, just truly sincere. Know that you are loved by Fubi Kwans, loved by Rabazar Taurus, loved by Yabal Sakabi, loved by Alan G and loved by me. Do not forget, we are here for you now. Know that you are so, so loved by the Varden, Divine Spirit, and by the Hure. Fubi, Kwans, the Varden, and my love surrounds you. May the blessings be.